Um, very young team. They drafted your your boy uh, Pete um, in in the Thompson Twins. One of them. Yeah, my and, my other propaganda specialty, Amen Thompson. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Amen Thompson. And, and you know, it's a very young team. I think there's some there's some interesting pieces there. There's a very there's a lot of lot of factors and variables for this Rockets team. The biggest question for this Rockets team is now that they've kind of gone the young experiment. I think they've gotten rid of some guys that may have. I don't know if questionable or or what it is, but guys that really disrupted the locker room, I would say, um, f- at least for what they want to do in the future in terms of, you know, be a better team. I think Yudoka is a no-nonsense coach, like we've all said, um, and he kind of got rid of the guys that he felt were distractions in the locker room. At least that's what it feels like to me. Um, the Rockets, where, where do we see them? I think they're still... In the in the lottery bound category, like I would Oof. I would like to put them in the league pass worthy team, um, but I'm still in a wait and see with some of their players that they have. God, I really want to put this team in the playoffs, man. I can't lie. I, wow, yeah, I would say league pass worthy though, man. I just that might, might be the safest pick. It might be the yeah. safest pick, but I, I honestly think I think Hopefully. they have a legitimate chance to be in the playoffs this season. I can't lie. I'm trying to fight it though. I'm trying to fight my the Your hot urge? take is building up inside of me. Yeah, Brad, go. I gotta hold it in for a second. Yeah, I don't know about the playoffs, man, but <laughs> I think they have a really fun, exciting team. Uh, uh, Sangoon, you know, we all baby Jokic. That'll be fun to watch. Mm-hmm. Dylan Brooks. It'll be interesting to see if like Yudoka can rein in his offensive game, like the black hole yeah. that he is. You know, yeah. try to mitigate that a bit. Uh, we know he's going to bring great defense. Same with Jalen Green. Like, is he going to start playing winning basketball? You know, like, that, can you actually instead? Of, oh, go ahead, Bernie. No, no, I was no, I was going to. I I can let you finish, but I was going to say like that's the guy to me that they need to like figure out. Like, is he that guy in terms of can he be that superstar? Because I just feel like to me, especially at the position that they drafted him, especially in that draft, I think it was him and, and Cade, right? Uh, yeah, Mobley. They took him over Mobley. Wrong. Yeah. That'll never. They'll never Wrong. live that one down. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, 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 yeah. I mean, uh, and then uh, again, sorry to cut you off, Brad. But like, that's the oh, no, guy. You're good, you're good. That's the guy to me. Where it's like, is this guy about winning basketball, or is he about yeah. his his fashion, his looks? Like, he's again. Is he a guy tonight? 30 shots tonight. Is he a guy that's committed to the grind of? Hey, I'm trying to be the best NBA player. Or is he a guy that's more about the perks of being an NBA player? That is you my know, biggest those, question. Those videos that came out with Josh Christopher really didn't help <laughs> no, his and no. uh, perception. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why they got rid of oh, Christopher. Boy. Yeah. yeah. Even though I like um, oh, yeah. I mean, you go for it, Brad. Go for it. Oh, uh, yeah. I was just, yeah. I think uh, having KPJ off the team is like addition by subtraction. You know, a man like gets to come in and make more of an impact right away. Um, happy for him, since, especially since I have him on my dynasty team. Let's go, Amen Thompson. Um, <laughs> Jay Sean Tate and Jabari Smith Jr. Are, should be like a pretty good defensive front court underneath Yudoka. Uh, they'll be fun to watch. You know, I, I'd put them in league pass worthy. I really do think they'll be fun to watch, especially just because I like Yudoka as a coach. Mm-hmm. All right, let me let me speak my, my propaganda for this team into existence here. All right, I'm just the propaganda specialist today. Um, <clears throat> the reason I, I want to say playoff bound, I, I won't do it. I will concede. I think I think league pass worthy is a great spot for them. They're going to be very fun to watch. One of the biggest things for this team that I just cannot stop thinking about is just like they're going to be so good on defense. Like that can't be understated with this team. You would like say, Dude, I honestly don't think Jalen Green's gonna be on this team by the end of the season. Whoa! <laughs> what? First Number Lamello, two pick, Jalen. Oh, dude, oh. come on. He's not. Lamelo is so much better than Jalen is... Green. I mean, I, let's, uh, <laughs> let's be no, real. No, agreed. But like, same spicy take. Um, I, dude, I just don't think he has a spot on this team. Why did they go sign Fred Van Vliet? Why did they go sign Dylan Brooks? I mean, these these dudes overlap too much the only thing that's going to save Jalen green spot on this team is kevin porter jr exploding you know imploding like the fact that he did that to himself but not that they were ever going to choose him over Jalen green but like the equation is much simpler now right it's just like you said brad not only is it addition by subtraction just on the individual level but team-wide like 
there was overlap. They just drafted another guard who needs minutes at Amen Thompson, mm-hmm. right? Like they had to find spot for a spot for him anyway. I just I I do think people are understating some of the youth on this team, like how good they are and how much of a difference uh, Udoka is going to bring for this team. Like Jabari Smith Jr. is going to be an absolute menace this year. He already has looked a lot better in some of the stuff we've mm-hmm. seen. Some of the, you know, Summer League obviously is one thing he looked incredible during Summer League. But if you've seen any of his workout stuff, I mean, the dude seems so focused. He seems really locked in. And really, Udoka is exactly the coach Javari Smith Jr. needs. I mean, Javari Smith is like an uber version of Jalen Brown in a perfect universe, right? He's a, f- a couple inches taller. He's a defensive, lanky guy. He's not a dribbler, <laughs> right? He's not a, a playmaker. But he's a, a catch and shoot three guy, spot up shooter, who plays incredible defense. Like he can lock down anybody on any team, any six foot nine or six foot ten, right? But that's not counting. Like people are underselling how good Dylan Brooks is. Dylan Brooks, I think it's a fair question to ask. It, like, what is he still going to be the guy that was in Mem- Memphis? But I don't think the equation's the same. Taylor Jenkins is not going to command the same level of, you know sit down and shut up that Udoka is, right? Like, I don't even know Taylor Jenkins that much in terms of, like, I haven't seen his, like, how he communicates. I just think it's a fair assessment to make. Like, that same stuff that Dylan Brooks was doing for seasons, like, literal years in a row that kept losing that ga- that team games, That the second he does that with the squad, he's getting benched, you know? They didn't mm-hmm. pay him to continue doing that. Like, they're... Because one thing that we need to to look at is, like, literally until this team got Udoka as a coach, everything that we knew was that they were looking at James Harden. That did not seem fake. That seemed very real. They sign Udoka as a coach. James Harden is no longer on the table. Very much seemed like a Udoka choice. I don't want James Harden. Instantly, they go pivot, and they get Dylan Brooks, too. You know, what people think was a, a very you know, exordinate contract in terms of how much they paid him, but it wasn't that bad. It was four for 80, right? That's 20 million a year at that spot. And if he is as good as he was the last few seasons and takes less shots, he's easily worth that. Um, Agreed. I I just think their defense is genuinely going to be a problem. And they actually just have, they have a lot of shooters. Mm -hmm. People don't think of Sangoon when they think of some of the better centers in the league. He is one of the better centers in the league already based on like, you know, we're, we're talking about guys like Aiton and Nurkic. I'm telling you right now, I'm taking Sengun over both of those guys. And not that Nurkic matters. I mean, we already, you guys know how I feel about Nurkic. But even guys like Aiton, we're talking about him on contending teams, like how good he is, what is he? Robert Williams. Sengun is better than all those guys. So. Offensively, I agree. I agree. I think his defense needs, needs just a lot of work. But Yudoka's the right guy to do it. So. Yeah. Yeah, well, and I would agree with you, but also just look at who just won the championship, right? I mean, Jokic is not that great of a defender. So if you can have a team that's creatively using a guy like Sangoon, we've seen yeah. that it works, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I, I do think people also don't think Van Vliet is as good as he actually is. He's very, very good in terms of, you know, what he is specialized to do on any of these given teams. So it's not like they're asking him to defend. Like, that's just not his skill set. So. Uh, Jalen Green is definitely the biggest question mark. If they figure that out, uh, I think that a lot will be worked out for this team. But yeah, man, I I think they could be in the playoffs. I just it's not a safe yeah. enough bet for me to push back on you guys. So I, I'll, I'll I'll put them in the the uh, league pass worthy. Yeah, I think they'll probably go league pass worthy. Um, yeah, I just think playoffs. Can't sleep is on just... Cam Whitmore either though, or Tarisa. I didn't even bring up Tarisa. Tarisa was one of the better defenders in the Tari. league last oh, season. Goodness. Yeah, like you said, if Dylan is just, you know, doing like that nonsense he did in Memphis, you can just bench him and put in Tari. So Yep. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I feel like he will be on this nonsense. Um just, like listen to the, just hold on. Just this lineup for just a second. Amen Thompson at the point guard, right? Let's say they throw it, let's just they move Dylan Brooks down to the shooting guard, they throw Tari Eason in at small forward, Jabari Smith Jr. power forward, and then uh, Sangoon at setter. That's a crazy That's lineup. That's a crazy lineup. That is, That's, yeah. What do you even do shooting, with that? But you not have enough shooting. A lot of defense. Yeah. You have a lot of defense and a lot of like just versatility all over the place. They would be moving everywhere. And you could just slide Cam Whitmore in there for some extra, like some offense. Or yeah. Jalen Green, you know. Or Jalen Green, too. sure. Yeah. Throw some shooting in there. I'm, yeah. yeah. That's that's a super fun lineup. They might yeah. be my actual, like my number one league pass team this year. 
Yeah. Cam Whitmore is a good pickup for them. I know that he got, uh, he had a lot of, I would say that that BS that happens in the draft where people are saying about his medical and things like that. But I think he's going to be a good player for them. I think he could definitely be like a solid rotational guy, role player. Definitely. Um, he's only 19. The kid is, he's got the stars to shoot for. Yeah, he's he's 2023 20, Michael Porter Jr. If he can stay healthy, I mean, honestly, the sky's the limit for him. He's just offensively, he has all the skills. Yeah. 